Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Better's assignment 7 from module 1 that is Python for data science and this assignment is on topic list comprehension. What is list comprehension? Like writing for loop in one line. Like, yeah, it's that. So in this topic, you have learned that how to write for loop in one line yeah that's what you learned right now we are going to solve problems on that problem one the price of a house depends upon a lot of factors these factors could be the geography the area of house the number of bedrooms in the house proximity to necessary amenities etc a simplistic model would assume that the price of a house depends on a single factor let's say area of the house yeah let's assume that it depends on the area of the house right you are given a dictionary where the keys corresponds to the area of a house in square feet and the value for each key is the price of the house in lakhs that is rupees of six houses of a certain locality in Bangalore so this is our dictionary so so this is a variable called house underscore area underscore price underscore dict so this is a key square feet area here 39 is a price in lakhs I'm just going to run this thing totally we are having six houses right the values of this dictionary are actual prices you want to make a simple model which takes the houses prices as the input and outputs the predicted price this model can be written as uh, this is a model predicted underscore price of area equals to 0 0.05 into area plus 10 using the concept of li list comprehension create a list of predicted house prices using the above formula so let's take the keys from this dictionary right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take the keys out from this dictionary key slow bar then i'm going to convert them into a list then i'm going to store them in a variable called house underscore areas here use list comprehension to store the predicted house price in a list so here comes the list comprehension right so you have to start from here so just forgot this thing right first you have to write for area in house areas house areas is a list which i created there what we are going to do uh, we are going to take the area we are going to put that area in this formula so in list comprehension you have to write that formula thing first right but while you are writing a list comprehension first write this thing after when when you think when formula kind of thing comes you have to write that in the front so there will be a specific syntax for this thing that you have to learn by googling or you have learned in alma better right print predicted house prices so this is the predicted house prices right create another list which contains the squares of difference of each element of the two price list the actual price and the predicted price now we are going to find the actual price right no not we are not going to find we are just going to take that prices from this dictionary first okay so i just took that out like values those are values right then i stored them in the variable called actual underscore house underscore prices so then i converted them into the list these are actual prices here what i'm doing i'm just going to zip them actual prices and uh, 
predicted price into a list as you can see this is particularly a list containing tuple these are tuples right now what we are going to do we are just going to find the square difference between each element of this two list using the list comprehension so let's assume one element uh, this is i this is j so what we are going to do here i minus j square right so i am having this calc so i am going to do that thing 62.8 so 62.8 minus 39 whole square yeah i got the answer if you can see right uh, you can't see but i got the answer so that's what we are doing here first for i comma j in prices this is the prices uh, list containing loop uh, containing tuple right this is a tuple right so first one is i and the second one is j so we are taking both the i and j then we are performing this condition right and again we are doing till the last one and then we are storing those values in square difference these are the output this is the output that's it now we are moving to the problem two a sigmoid function is a mathematical function having a characteristics s shaped curve or sigmoid curve a common example of a sigmoid function is a logistic function shown in the first figure and defined by the formula so this is a formula right yeah this is important thing right no need to remember but just i'm saying range is defined as all the possible values which the function h of x can take domain is defined as all the possible values which x can take in this case range of the function is between 0 and 1 and the domain of the function is all real numbers okay so uh, this is a sigmoid curve you are given a list of values of x you need to use a list comprehension to calculate the corresponding transformation according to the sigmoid function defined above so we are having this list right and the variable is x they told that we should take e as 2.718 so i just kept that thing so sigmoid of x so now we are using list comprehension for i in x so take each each one from this list then substitute that thing in this formula so so they gave this formula right we are going to substitute in that formula only as you can see 1 by 1 plus e power minus i so here e will be this value this is the value of e then we are going to store all those values in this particular variable then i am going to print that thing as you can see right here also boolean return a list of boolean values if the sigma of x is greater than 0 and less than 1 so if the value is greater than 0 we have to print true so we are having all these values all these values are true right according to me written a list of boolean values if the sigma of x is greater than 0 and less than 1 simply you can think like that uh, 0 means false greater than 0 means true in boolean language wala thing so that's why we got all true values here i just implemented that uh, list comprehension for x in sigmoid of x if x greater than 0 and x less than 1 so you can implement this thing in your own fashion so 
don't judge me why i did like this only okay boolean of x so i got this thing first one so create a list of those values which are greater than 0.5 so here also i'm using list comprehension for x in sigmoid of x if x greater than 0.5 just update this thing right here i'm just going to print those all, all x values as you can see now we are moving to the problem three we are given a sentence I have been walking and running and dancing and smiling and laughing all of my life yet it all seems pointless so really <laughs> uh, but I didn't do I don't do all these things yeah I just laugh and smile okay you are required to extract all those words from this sentence in a list which ends with the ing running walking dancing smiling laughing so these words we have to extract your sentence so we are going to split them i'm just going to run this thing mm. okay you can see so i just splitted them into a list so using a list comprehension extract those words which ends with the ing right so here is our list comprehension for i in this my underscore sen this is a particular list having all these words if i last three words like i'm extracting last three words i'm just taking last three words okay so equals to ing then add those values or or add those words into this variable or into this list right so uh, this is a words uh, they just created another variable then i'm just going to print this thing you can see the output now we are on last problem problem four natural language processing or nlp is one of the most promising fields in machine learning most of the times in nlp we deal with the textual data a bunch of strings sometimes when we are processing the text it is common practice to get rid of some set of stop words from our original text by default stop words are very common words used in english language such as and or punctuations etc in this exercise we are provided with the default set of words stop words and you need to add some extra set of custom words and remove these words from the given sentence and obtain the sentence without the stop words so, so that is our task so this is our sentence i'm going to just going to run this thing hello good morning folks today we will announce the first announce the half yearly performance results of our company of the company due to the ongoing covid 19 pandemic our profits have declined by 60 percent as compared to the last year so default set of stop words so these are the default set of stop words i'm going to run this thing so update the set of stop words by adding the custom stop words so these are the custom stop words so stop words dot update we are going to use this update method then adding these words to that particular stop words then i'm going to print this thing then your code here so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to convert them into a list then i'm going to print the sorted list with the stop words so they told right that's why i'm just going to sort it them so these are the words so 
create a list of words in the given sentence words in sentence sentence dot split so so we are having these words right i'm just going to split them so these are words in a list now use the list comprehension to remove the set of updated stop words from the list of words so i'm just giving update variable here for i in words in sentence this this thing if i not in stop words so what we are going to do so we are going to if this word is in this particular list we are not if this word is in this particular list we are not going to update if if this word is not there in this particular list then only we are going to update in this particular update list now you understood right these words should not be there in this particular thing okay those words we are printing finally using a join method get the sentence without the stop words keep in mind that every word in the sentence will be separated by a space so i am just going to give the space they asked right dot join update so we are going to join this thing this list so we are going to remove that space that's why i just gave the space so you can see hello folks today announce yearly performance results company due ongoing covid-19 pandemic profile profits declined 60% compared to last compared last okay so these are the four problems yeah uh, that's it meet you next tutorial till then do subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and i'll give you the collab notebook link in the description box below make sure you like this video bye bye